All right, we're live now. Hey, everybody. Uh, this is Tom Coleman coming at you from uh, the lovely Charlotte, North Carolina. And we had uh, Dustin Slade here for a minute, and he's he's driving on his way uh, in, so he may be popping in and out. And we got Catherine Wilfong with us today. And Arizona Lowe has uh, got the ickies, so <laughs> she's not going to be here with us today. So it's we're flying by the seat of our pants and just having fun. So uh, the only thing we got running today is the Q and A. So if you can, if you uh, get to it and want to ask a question, feel free. Um, otherwise, we're just going to run you through and uh, basically. I'm going to run Comet Tracker. Huh? Oh, do you know how to run it? I'm going to figure out how to run Comet Tracker today, Tom. All I'm right. going. I'm going to figure that one out because I'm going to take over Arizona's job because I love her and I'm going to figure it out. So I'm going to do it now. Well, we could, I don't know if <laughs> <laughs> this may not be the place to do it, but anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Give it a shot. I've been working on this. I have been working oh, on okay, this. Okay, cool. Well, this if you can get it going, let me. This is my shout out to Arizona. I tried Comet Tracker on uh, Friday night on uh, Thinking Out Loud, and I got part of it to work. Um, so today I'm going to get all of it to work. So you know, this is my this is my shout out to Arizona, and uh, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's so, do that. Okay. Yeah, all right, let's so, if we can get yeah. into it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Just let me know if you get it running, okay? I'll let you know. I'll give you the thumbs up there, everybody. Well, I, I won't be able to see it because I will be on another page. But That's anyway. okay. That's okay. Yeah. You All were, right. So here, here we go. Um, this, this, what we're doing today is a Facebook video ads cheat sheet, and I'm just curious. <laughs> would it be okay to show you why mixing video with Facebook ad with Facebook ads can be a powerful promotion strategy? You know, Facebook is the number two search engine. YouTube is the number three search engine. That's via Alexa. And we're going to show you how to get daily leads, build an asset you own, which is your email list, generate multiple streams of money on demand. And what's possible is imagine pulling in 162 leads in one day. Um, we're going to teach you to show you how to target to maximize your ad spend. Um, you're going to maximize your branding and lead generation when you combine video with Facebook ads. So, the you know I, I, one of the things I told you I was going to tell you, and I guess we can we can wait till the end. But I'm going to tell you one thing that if you're running Facebook video ads, that will stop you from making any money with it, okay? And if you stay to the end, I'll, I'll give that to you. But you upload your video directly to Facebook, and we'll cover the video length and video structure. So if you can imagine just spending $10 and returning $823 in profit, you just, you just get your ad running and tweak it and find a way to make your ad profitable. Imagine a $27 ad spend for $654 dollars in one hour and five thousand three hundred sixty five dollars on the back end um, I mean these are this is you know is not promising anything but this is what's possible and Facebook video ads is the concept so if you're going to use Facebook PPC ads in the news feed uh, the video audio plays so it's interruption marketing that we're talking about and directs the target market to click a link in the post um, Image creates the attention, the video audio plays, and you enter the conversation in their head. And that's an important thing. So your your market research is the number one thing that you have to do before you even record your video. And to do that, you're going to use the Facebook search graph for your research. And you're going to type in your keywords. Um, see how many groups are there for your different keywords, the fan pages that they're on, and go actually go into the groups and go on to the fan pages and take a look at what's being posted and actually see, you know, what the interaction is, what the, what the questions are, what's being said, the type of content that generates the responses, the actual wording that they're using. 
because that's what you want. That's this is where you're finding your your uh, copywriting and to get into the get into the head of your uh, target audience. You're looking for copy for your ad. So when you're doing that, ask yourself, what can I say to actually stand out and grab their attention? Um, any questions about any of that? Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, cool. Now the video format, we're gonna you're gonna do a one to two minutes max, and preferably you want to keep it under two minutes, about a minute to a minute and a half. Um, the first thing you got to do is you got to grab their attention fast. So you're gonna use a quick hook, which is basically it's a pattern interrupt. It's asking a question that's top of mind for the target audience. One cold hard fact or two about the problem who you are and what they will get in other words the value they're going to receive in the video and all that has to happen in the first nine to ten seconds so it's a very very quick kind of thing to, to, to hook your audience again we're talking about interruption marketing so you've got to talk about the problem you have gotta push the problem talk about the pain give one or two tips that leave them actually leaning forward and wanting more get them in the mindset of I want it so hurry up so I can opt in and get the solution because that's going to be on the other side of the opt-in. And your call to action is just a casual. If you want more information, click the link in the post. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to create your post in the Power Editor. So click on the Power Editor, select the video, then you upload your video. Okay, select the image, put your link at the top, then put your copy beneath the link that you've got and the links going to your capture page or we'll talk a little bit about where all you can go with that but that's what makes them click the link put your copy in the post text um, you'll see the Facebook CTA button they're rolling that out in the video section and it may or may not work for you um, just test it or use both uh, but continue to test it because what they're doing some people have it some people don't and they're just rolling it out, so you may or may not have it. So put your link in the text and use the button. Definitely test test the uh, CTA button for Facebook. So create your post. Do not use Google Images. Use royalty-free images. Try um, dreamstime.com, D-R-E-A-M-S-T-I-M-E.com and make sure the picture actually jumps off the screen so what you're looking for basically is a, a real tight picture um, this is just an example a real tight picture of a female maybe pulling her hair out screaming with a, a red border for instance okay but you always do want to use a border you, you've got to get them it's got to be a, a picture that actually grabs attention and stops them from scrolling through their news feed to click on it so the next thing you're going to do is, is create the ad and you use the ads manager for that. So basically what we're doing is we're using the, uh, the power editor, number one, and then the ads manager, number two. Um, the ads manager create a page post engagement ad. So select your post um, that, and you're going to run it in the news feed only. If you run it in the mobile feed only, you don't want to run it in both feeds at the same time. You want to run it one or the other or make two different ads and one run and run one on one and run in the other. Uh, but make sure your landing page is mobile friendly if you run it on the mobile feed. I mean, that's critical. Um, select your audience. Um, basically, we're English speaking, so we're picking, you know, U.S., Canada, Australia, the U.K. if you're doing business in those countries. So pick your countries, pick your pick your language um, your age brackets basically you want to split those down and split test to see which age groups opt in and more importantly which age groups actually buy more um, because you're going you're going to find depending on who you are and how you're coming across um, like if you're in your if you're in your 30s for example you may find that 40 to 50 year olds buy more product from you um, so optimize your ad and price it at 10 cents over the um, suggested spend just to test your ad to see if it's good. Uh, you can pause it after one day, review your results, um, and then you can you know you can put it down a little bit lower than that. But select PPC, your cost per click, not impressions or post engagement. 
Now, here's the walkthrough. Um, you're going to start in the Power Editor. Y'all, if y'all have any questions, holler, okay? Or if anybody's got any, if anybody's got any questions, is this is this providing any value to you guys? Yeah, it's just it's a lot of information. It is a lot of information. Um, but here's 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 the walkthrough, okay? And it's going to be, I mean, it's just it's a down and dirty cheat sheet. Uh, start in the Power Editor, and when you start in the Power Editor, the, the first thing you want to do is download all your posts and ads. So if you never run an ad, it's still going to download all your posts on your fan page. Create your page post. Pick a video. Select a video or upload it. Uh, your thumbnail, you select your image. It may uh, not be at the top when you go down to select it, so browse through to find it and upload it. Uh, use a border around it, use Snagit or Jing or PicMonkey to edit the image and add the border. Um, add your link and then add your text beneath your link. Uh, in, in a video ad, the image size is uh, 1200 by 628, so it's bigger than the, the, the other type of ads. Um, so your ad copy, what you want to focus on is the struggle, uh, the change that's available, uh, and then your call to action, check out the free video presentation or, you know, whatever you got them going to. And you can put in as much text as you want. Um, there's, a, there's a Facebook CTA button. Just leave that alone and create the post. Publish your post, upload your changes. Um, click the moon, upload your changes. You can't do dark posts and video ads. Now, that may change, uh, but click publish post. Uh, the upload button turns green and upload to post. In your ads manager, create your, your ad on the top right, select page post engagement, find your post in the drop down, and I'll make all this available to you. You can actually work through this, um, and, and if you'll just walk through this and do this, you can set up an ads. But it's, it's the one that you just created. You may have to browse down to find it. So click on the post and click continue. Well, my question um, yeah, here is, um, how long does it take to create a basic ad? Um, if, if you've been doing it for a while, you can do it in, in, you know, really quick. I mean, three minutes if you want. Um, I mean, it's, you just walk right through it. The first time, it's going to take you a little bit of time. Like, um, um, you know, an because, hour, two hours. No, 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 no. It's going to, I have, the first time I ran, when I was playing with it, um, it didn't, I mean, maybe 30 minutes. Um, I don't know. It may take you an hour. But, okay. it, it's, so I mean, it's, it's not going to, it's not going to take much time to do it. You just, if you follow this, this will walk you right through it. And you can probably get it done in about 15 minutes. Okay. okay. Your biggest, your biggest thing is your your tar your research on your target audience because really you want to you want to key in on the language, okay? So you got to get your copywriting done properly. Then you've got to get your image, okay? Mm -hmm. So once you've got your your text and your image, that's what takes some time, okay? But then actually physically just putting the the post up that doesn't take very much time at all. And it's just getting familiar with it. And if you start running it every day, um, you know. You'll 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 collect your images and you'll collect your uh, the text that you want to use and you'll just run it and it doesn't take very long to set it up at all. I mean and you can do it. What's the cost of this? Huh? What's the cost of doing this? Uh, running it on Facebook. Oh, well, what you're what right. you're trying to do if you're paying a buck and a buck a click, you're paying a lot. Mm -hmm. So you want to optimize it and you want to see. Basically, you want to optimize everything, and we're not going to go into that today. I mean, I'm giving you some okay. optimization today, but the, the tighter that you can optimize thing and target, uh, the lower your 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 cost is going to be. Okay? okay. So, but they're going to give you a suggested pricing, and mm -hmm. I'll talk to I'll talk to you about that, how to set that up initially to set that up. Okay. Later um, on in another show, or no, right now in a minute. Okay. It's just down lower. Okay. So hang on to your questions and just ask about what I'm talking about and. Because <laughs> I'm I likely I'm going to get to it in a minute. Okay. Controlled, controlled flow. Thank you, dear. I appreciate it. Flow. So, 
Right. Where were we? So create your ad at the top right, select page post engagement, find your post in the drop down. It's the one that you just created. Again, you may have to browse down to find it. Click on the post, click continue. Okay. Okay. Remove, remove mobile. These are actually this is actually how you go in and do it. This is step by step what you're gonna do. Okay. And okay. If, if you go in and see it, I just didn't I don't have I don't have um um pictures of everything. So no but, problem. But remove, if, if remove, you have a document available remove, of how to finish, do this. Let me finish. Remove the mobile on the right. Do news feed only. Target your location. Pick the language that's best for your business. For us, it's English. So uh, mm -hmm. age bracket split test, gender split test. Refer back, you know, your interest. Refer back. That's your next pick. Refer back to your research. And once you put something in there, you can hit suggestions after you put somebody in. And that'll pull up different people, and you can kind of go in and test them, and and see what kind of numbers it pulls up. But you want to you want to get pretty tight on the numbers. Um, only use one interest, okay? Because what you're what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to connect it. In order to 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 optimize your ads, you've got to figure out if it's male, female, age, the exact interest that's most conducive to your text and your image and all that put together is most conducive to get more clicks and they will optimize it for the clicks so create a similar ad to run on mobile oh no here we go connection connection uh, your pricing on set your pricing for fifty dollars on your your ads per day your money per day set your pricing at fifty dollars the first day just to get your ad approved fast okay um, and then Drop it down once they approve it. Drop it down to your budget after they approve it. But optimize for clicks. Max uh, uh, ten cents over their suggested bid price. Okay, and you'll actually never pay that price. And go ahead and after that and place your order. Um, and then create a similar ad to run on mobile. Uh, the mobile pricing is a little bit lower than the, the newsfeed pricing. Change your bid. Remove the desktop landing page. Must be mobile ready. So check your landing page and make sure it's mobile ready before you run a mobile ad, or you're just wasting your money. But that is the process. And um, if your post is not congruent with your fan page because you're not running actual dark post, and that may change. Um, and it, it, it may be changing, you know, maybe somebody can run a dark post and some others can't. I mean, Facebook does that kind of stuff. But if your post is not congruent with your fan page, go ahead and hide the post on your fan page because dark posts don't work for video ads. But test it and see because sometimes it probably will. Um, and then think about what is your offer? Where are you driving the clicks? Um, you can send them to, to membership sites. Uh, membership signups to products to, to a blog post to webinars webinars are probably a pretty good thing to send them to to opportunity webinars private coaching etc anything you want to send them to um, so what you want to do is you want to target your intent script out your ad remember you're only going to run about a minute to a minute and a half two minutes max needs to be tight and just talk like you're training Record your video, set up the post in the Power Editor, then set up your page post engagement in the Ads Manager, upload it to Facebook, um, and then optimization on it would take another HOA. <laughs> so, uh, but run your ad and just see if you get leads. Once you get your leads, start testing and tweaking it. Optimize it, test your image, test your video, test your capture page to get your cost per click down. Just take action, and as you take the action, just adjust it along the way. Because um, imagine spending $28 and returning $654 in four hours and $5,300 on the back end. Uh, sell a $10 webinar where you're doing a training. I mean, people love trainings. Imagine selling a $267 product for an hour and a half of work. I mean, you know, it, people average an hourly wage about 22 to 25 bucks. It just just keep getting better so that you're doing you're doing that and you can automate this stuff too so now so go think, ahead I think that was the answer to um, your question that Tammy Cook just had what's the success rate by doing these ads um, it, it's a lot well it 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 I mean you could make nothing 
or you could make you know multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars I mean it it it's a it's a process it's like anything else it's you once you make a decision the way that you decide something you're just when you decide something a decision is I'm gonna do this okay and you do whatever you gotta do until you get the result you're looking for so if there's a problem that comes up you go over it around it through it whatever you gotta do to get the results you're looking for that's a decision anything else is I'm just gonna try and if it's just I'm gonna try you're gonna lose money so you know you you when you initially set it up you're not anytime you try something new you're not gonna get fantastic results I mean you're just not uh, unless you just really get lucky and knock it out of the ballpark the first time and that can happen too but but what you've got to do is you got to know what your you got to know what your result is. You got to do the best that you can do on all your stuff, and and these are all skills, and you've got to learn these skills too. So, but I mean, you can go out if you go out and and do what I'm telling you to do in in uh, these things and and try it. You know, everything that I've said in here is important. So it's not it's not fluff. So you're you're checking your your fan pages. You're checking your um, um, groups to to see the language, and that's the language that you want to use. So you can control your script. You can control your image. You can control your border. You can control your landing page, and you control your ages and your interest and and all that kind of thing. So what you have to do is you just have to do what you think is going to work for you and give it a shot okay um, and then see what your result is and then change it test it tweak it to get better does that does that make sense it does it, it, it's about doing your homework and uh, trying something and then tweaking it and then uh, trying it again and just seeing what really works until you get really the best return yeah, and it's like anything else. If it's, it's like if, if you're if you're trying to learn how to sell something, go out and talk to people and try. Something. But do a little research and figure out what's going to work first and what's not going to work. You know, and, then, and then you test it and try it. That's that's your feedback, and your feedback is is not a is not a no or a negative thing. All it is is feedback. So if it's not working, you tweak it and try it again, and then you'll get to something that works for you, and once it works for you, do more of it. Step on the gas, <laughs> and and things will happen pretty fast. So what you want to do is is just take action, see what the result is, do the tweaks that make it closer to your target, and just keep getting closer to your target till you get it zeroed in. Once you've got it zeroed in, step on the gas and go for it. Well, Tom, I would compare it to baking a cake. It's you could possibly bake the best cake in the world the very first time you baked, but more than likely, the first time you bake something in an oven you've never used before, someplace you've never been before, may not turn out to be the best cake ever. It's a possibility, but... Highly unlikely. Highly <laughs> unlikely. <laughs> That's because perfect. Ovens, because ovens bake at different temperatures, even though you... You think it might be baking at 350 or 375 or 400. It, you know that every oven's different, and altitudes play a part. The flour that you use, you know, the eggs, you know, everything. So until you know your kitchen just exactly the way you need to know it, you are going to, you know, need to play around. Yep, I was at a birthday party the other day, and. Uh, they were telling a story. Somebody bought brought a birthday cake and forgot to put the sugar in it. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I mean that happens. I, I mean you know there's all kinds of things. And I'm I'm sure I don't remember who brought the cake, but I'm sure they've been baking forever. But you know if you got a bunch of kids running around, God only knows. You know you forget your you forget your tail sometimes. So uh, I, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It, it, so, yeah, so I mean, you know, uh, so anyway, Tammy, I hope that helps you. The, the, the whole key to the whole thing, though, is you, you, you pick what you're going to do, 
you make a decision to do it, and the decision is, once you decide you're going to do it, and the decision is, I'm going to do it until I get it. When you make that decision, the whole universe will start coming your way, okay? But you've got to make that decision. And if if you don't, it's going to be tough. So, I mean, uh, that, that is basically the thing. So... One word of caution there, when you set up your ad and you set it to do a $50 a day post, make sure you go back in and change that, turn it down, or else you can wind up letting it go, forget about it, and look at your bill. You got a several hundred dollar bill now because you didn't turn it off. Yeah, that's, turn that's, it down. that's why I said once your ad's approved, go back in and change it down to your budget. Just don't like forget I'm telling that. you, that's all like I'm telling you, what... What I've got here in the document, and I'm going to make it available to you, um, and I'll give you a link if you want some additional training on it, but um, if you just take take the document, LOL, Catherine, that's so true. Yeah, <laughs> Tammy, it is. <laughs> but if you just take the document and uh, set it up, then she actually found the, or, oh, she's on, she's on the, Oh, I, was, I thought she, she found the Q&A, but she didn't. Okay, good job, Catherine. You got it going. I, uh, but, any, but anyway, I, if you'll, I know that's cool. <laughs> anyway, if you'll if you'll just if you'll just go through this and follow it step by step, and what you're doing is you're starting in the Power Editor, then you're doing the Ads Manager. Okay, but your number one thing is to do your research based on your keywords. Get your image together. Put a border around it. Get your copy together because you've got to you've got to write out you have to write out your your video because you want to keep it really tight and you want to get the words right because what you're doing it's interruption marketing so it's got to be an ad that stops the scroll gets them to click on it that's number one number two the video is going to autoplay so you've got to start out and get their attention in the first nine seconds and you do that by doing a pattern interrupt which is asking a question. Okay, then give them one or two facts that that stir up the problem. Uh, give them maybe one solution and tell them there's more on the other side of the opt-in. Tom, can you post the links after the show? Yep. Yep. I'll I'll I've got um I'll I'll post it. Uh, the cheat sheet will be posted. Um, everywhere I can find a place, but it'll be posted. It'll be posted on my blog, and it'll be posted on, and Catherine shared it, so it'll be posted on her post, and it'll be posted on on uh, in my stream, and wherever else I can find it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, they're really good. absolutely. It's a, it's a it's a good. Uh, I looked at the doc, and it's a really good doc. Yep, you'll like it if you just if you'll just print out the doc. And take it and give it a shot, and just and just keep reading it. I mean, it's 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 item by item. It's item by item, and you can set these up. And if you'll just stick with it, you know, and think about it, and go do your research, um, and and you know, if I can help you on any of this, I'll be happy to. So just let me know. Um, well, Tom, you're gonna help me set up one, right, on my. Yeah. And I've, and, I've, and I've got some language that you can use too that'll help you do that too. Cool. So, okay. yay! But uh, basically, that's that's it. We ran a tight show, and we we're coming in at thirty minutes. <laughs> so cool. Well, this is this is what I'm going to suggest: is that next week we're going to share the ad that Tom helps me set up from his the stock. And we're just going to share it after on next week's show. Have you got a capture page? I, I don't know. We'll have to set up a capture page if I don't. So we're going to do it all. <laughs> we're going to do it all. All right. We'll absolutely do that. And, and uh, then we'll, we'll show you, and, and we'll record all that. So. And we're going to we'll record it all. We're going to record it, do it all, and show it next week. <laughs> Live. <laughs> Well, no, it'll be an after the fact, but Good morning. it'll be an after the fact, but from G plus. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. <laughs> shout, shout, shout out. 
Tammy's Tammy's got some good photos. You guys, you need you need you need a picture of some lady tight pulling her hair out, going. <laughs> and we'll yeah. buy that from you. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that would, you need a man pulling his hair out going, oh, my God, she keeps asking questions. No, 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 that's I've got this problem, and I need a solution to it because that's what you're talking to them about. You know, so look at your images. Look at your images. So, you know, vary your images. You can have – there's millions of images. <laughs> Woo-hoo. <laughs> Tell it, Tammy. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, yeah. So give a, give a shout out, Catherine, for her uh, website. Oh, shout out to Tammy Cook. And uh, check her out. She's now on Fine Arts America. And you can uh, check her website out on um, uh, Today's Visions. And check out uh, her on G. Check her out on Facebook, Tammy Cook. Uh, also, uh, she can be under TLC Photography. She is awesome. Good photography, yep. Awesome. Go, girl. <laughs> All right. Anybody else have any other questions? I mean, that's it. That's the show. And and, and we're tight. So it's 32-minute show right now, so I want to keep it that way. So, um, uh, here, Tom, she says she'll get you one. Okay, cool. Thanks, Tammy. I appreciate it. Um, that would be super. Um yeah. <clears throat> Make her cute. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she, she, uh, she's got some. She's got some good looking. And, she's got some good looking southern girls. Oh, that's that's the best. I <laughs> uh, wish everybody could be a California girl, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the southern girls are pretty. Southern girls are pretty. Uh, they're all pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Pull her, pull her, pull her comment down. There we go. Okay. Right. Well, that's that's it. That's the show. So unless anybody's got any more questions, um, that's got it for today. And we'll see you next Tuesday. And next Tuesday, um, Catherine and I are going to take photos of it, and we'll sh we'll actually show you how to do this. Um, I'm in Arizona today. Um, I hope she's, she's doing better. She's so. uh, she just she's got the ickies. She says. <laughs> so. Uh, Dustin, you got anything else? Oh, let me let me mention. Um, I'm gonna put a link in here too. There's tonight at nine o'clock. Um, Diane Hockman is a real good marketer, and she's she's got a training that she's gonna do. It it's on marketing, and she keeps things really really simple. She does three things every day. She talks. She she meets ten new people. Um, she runs a uh, she, she runs a, a newsletter, um, and when she meets people, she's not trying to sell them anything. She's just meeting them. Um, she runs a she runs a newsletter and she she writes she p produces a piece of content every day. So those are the three things that she do she does and she makes multiple six figures and she runs her she runs her business in one or two hours a day. So um, and I'll leave you a link for that and if you want to take a look at that, I guarantee you'll learn something from her. Um, and she's been doing this for like 15 years or so. So check that out too if you get a chance. Um, Catherine. Yes, Tom. Balancedenergy.com. <laughs> That's right. Check check out my website. Give me a call. Uh, email me. I can uh, help you out. Really. Yep. Whether you're a person or a real estate professional, if you want to sell more houses, call Catherine. We'll tell you That's how true. she'll get it done for you. And it's very easy, and it won't cost you hardly anything. So, uh, Dustin? Is he still there? He's frozen. There he is. Hey, buddy. Uh, shout out your website. Uh, you can always go to DustinSlade.com. Catherine, you might want to check that out. Look under the boot camp for your how to set up a Facebook fan page if you want to check that out. I do want to check that out. I'm going to have to check that out because I do have two pages, but I don't know what one of them is because I'm real. I think I have 70 friends on Facebook. I've been on G Plus more, so... Well, your friends, your friends don't have anything to do. That's your profile. Oh, That's okay. not your fan yeah. page. I, I keep that pretty private. I just haven't been into Facebook. So, 
Well, you can set up a totally different fan page and do things on that that doesn't have anything to do with anybody else that knows you anywhere. So anyway, that's what okay. fan pages are for. Well, All thanks. right. Well, that's Justin's big on fan, on uh, Facebook, right? Yep, he is. Cool. All right, everybody. That's the end of the show. We'll see you next Tuesday. We'll show you a post. Thanks. We'll show you an ad. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.